welcome back to another episode of MRC. I'm on um, starting my summer two week vacation. Uh, first week I'm around the house and we're going to the beach a day or two, going to the zoo. And the second week we're heading northward towards a little, little small lake and uh, on the cottage. So um, it'll be a little downtime on my channel, but right now we're going to do some flying of the excellent Shai X118 FPV quadcopter sent to me from Gearbest. It's also termed as the Wind Rider. I'm just going to do a little bit here of the radio and what's all with the FPV part. Uh, I've flown this now a couple times trying to figure out what this quadcopter does. Uh, the manual is a little light and skimpy on the information and um, as far as what I've tried to decipher from the manual, it hasn't really worked for me. So I have to go over some things again and tinker and try things on my own. Let's just look at the radio really quick. So this is supposed to be the return to home key and this is the headless key. Um, I haven't had much luck with that. Um, the return to home is you're supposed to press it and then whatever back is will bring it back towards you um what's worked for me is hit the return to home and then hit the headless button and then the quadcopter goes in headless mode um and then that worked for me for bringing it back and or flying it in headless mode that's the only way i've been able to get in headless mode at least that's what i think so um also uh I haven't found a rates button on here yet. Um, I'm gonna have to tinker around with that. Um, I thought the rates was this bottom button and this is the 3D flip, but this is the automatic flip button and this is the um, continuous flip. So you'll continue to do flips with the stick until you depress that button again. So it's turn continuous flip mode on, do all your flips, and to release it, you press that off. If you press that button, it'll do its own flip. And uh, two buttons to control the LEDs. I'm not so sure about that. I'm hoping one of those is the rates button. So just gonna show you a little bit more about the heads up display. Um, I've noticed there's a charge port or a USB port here that you can get the data off without pulling out the S micro SD card here on the side. There's also an audio port and there's a USB port so you can get the, the data off. Hopefully I'm catching all this, sorry. If it, if it isn't, this is a little repetitive. So there's the audio port and the micro SD. Now here's the speaker and the whole gist of this thing too is that you can play back and watch your stuff that you recorded on this radio too. So, lots of stuff to learn and the manual isn't so, so great about it. Um, turning on the radio and enabling the TV screen, you actually have to hold the power button here until it comes on. <laughs> You're looking at a good two or three seconds and I don't know if you can see that right now. It might be a little hard but it's showing snow because I don't have the quadcopter on. So I'm just going to turn the power off for a minute. So, And again in the back side here taking six AA batteries. And it's a fairly good size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the battery in this quadcopter and I'm just gonna do a flight with it without the FPV I didn't put the prop guards on so sorry probably out of view here as I'll turn the radio off so you can see the LEDs have kicked in so I just have to wiggle this hatch back in properly. I'm clicking in. And I'm gonna set it up up over here. You see it? And 
not going to put the head display down. It's just going to fly it. And see, up, down, sinks it. Now I'm just going to adjust my hat because I have a tendency to lose this out of sight when it's up in the air. So, there goes the quad. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside. It's actually 31 degrees Celsius with the humidex around 37. So, very hot and muggy and humid here. So, anyways, that's the quad flying. I'm just going to trim it a bit. And that is the flip button. I'm going to gain some altitude here. And I'm going to put it, bring it back my way. And I'm going to put it in a continuous flip mode. And there's two as you can see. And now I've just disengaged it. That's the yaw rate there. So the yaw is really slow. But I think it's on design because of... of it being an FPV quad. You don't want things turning very quick or you disorientate yourself. So anyways, let's bring it in close here quick. As you can see, I tried to play with the rates button, what I thought was the rates, but I ended up just turning the LEDs off. Uh, you can't probably see it here, but I just turned it back on. Anyways, so I'm going to get this quad out here. I'm going to turn it sideways. And I'm going to hit the return to home. And that did work. All it does is come back, backwards. Ugh. Apparently it doesn't work very good though. I will say though, this is uh, a nice flying quadcopter. It's very steady. Though it does tend to use about more than half throttle just to get off the ground. So I'm going to try and put this in the headless mode and see what happens. No. You have to put it in return mode and then headless mode. No, that's still not working. No. No, still can't engage headless mode. Now it's in headless mode. So I put it return to home and then hit headless button and that seems to get it to work. But I do find my other flyings that after a couple minutes it starts losing its headless sway. Also, you can see it flies really nice. You get about six minutes of flight time, and I'm not even using uh, the camera. And you get about five minutes of flight time uh, when you do the uh, FPV part. So. The headless mode actually flies really nice, but it's already starting to lose its way a little bit. Well, it's actually doing pretty good. Another interesting thing is the flip does work in headless mode. I found that that does not work in headless modes on some of the quadcopters that I own. 
we're probably getting near the end of the flight so I'm just gonna get up real close here so you can have a look see this thing do some hovering hey guys Mike here I'm here with the uh, X1 Shai X118 hot summer day uh, part of the flying video I'm going to take this up and do the onboard uh, flight to see how this thing does it's uh, about 15 kilometer wind so we'll see how it handles that so let's get her up in the air Hey guys, it's Mike here. I'm gonna do um, FPV of mode here. Um, been trying different types of things to film it, and I can't quite get it to see the screen. So I got the Mobius mounted right on the hood of this uh, radio, and we're gonna give it a try. So I'm gonna put it in using the set key into record mode. Hopefully, you guys can see this. If you can't see it, I'm giving up after this. I got the quad bound. It's on the driveway, it's ready to go up. So, here we go. I'm gonna do some takeoff, and here we go flying. So this is what FPV is all about. We can watch his car go by here. Let's go have a look in the neighbor's yard here. Look down the hydro alley. Oh. Bring it back this way towards myself. <laughs> 